Hey, what's up everyone? Linklight here. Today, we're gonna be checking out some cool mods that you need to know about. This is the third episode in the series. We got a lot of variety in this episode, so stay tuned. So we're starting things off with something that blew my mind when I first saw it. This is Cappy in Smash. So I remember when Smash Ultimate was announced, I always said, you know, Cappy should be in Smash Ultimate. Well, this mad lad made it happen. Let's check it out. Look at how smooth the gameplay is. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's so well made. Absolutely love it. And then uh, he also posted this clip of it, which uh, I, I, dude, this looks so cool. You can just use it to recover infinitely, apparently. I don't know if that's technically balanced, but it is still pretty sick. So yeah, this mod was created by Firestar Marthy, Pizza Toast Wolf. If you guys like any of the stuff I show, please go follow them, support their work. Um, let them know I sent you. Yeah, I just want to bring attention to cool things that people make. All right, this next one is actually a lot more insane than you think it is. Someone took Mario Kart 64 and turned it HD. So check out this transition here. This is actually insane. Wow. That's like how you think you remember it but it's not. Look at how HD that is. And look at this animation. I am like mind blown at how good this looks. Yes, it does look pretty good. Now, I don't think they go into detail here, but they had to redo every single sprite in the game in HD, which is a tremendous amount of work because these characters are not actually 3D models. They're 2D textures and they had to redo each one. So yeah, Mario Kart 64 HD, go check it out. The amount of work the mod authors put into this is absolutely astronomical. Um, it's a super cool project. I I love stuff like this. Just bringing old games, give them a fresh breath of air. It's kind of like Smash Remix. All right, for the next thing, um, we have Isaac finally joining the roster for PM Remix. PM EX Remix is a mod I've covered here on this channel before. It's probably the most ambitious Project M mod that's still being updated to date, uh, minus Project Plus, obviously. And seeing Isaac fully playable is super sick. Because, fun fact, Isaac was one of the cut characters from the original Project M roster back in the day. So I got a little trailer here. This animation looks actually, like, really high quality. It's like Unreal Engine. Master Hand just kills Fox. I don't know how to describe this. Like, it's, like, high quality, but, like, also kind of off a little bit, like, at the same time. It, it does look a little goofy, but... The fact that this is just for a Smash Mod project is actually kind of sick. What the heck? It's like so extra for no reason. Banjo and Bowser, they just die? Oh, that's the reveal. I see. Isaac with his hand. Oh, snap. Oh, in engine, he looks really good. He looks like he belongs with that brawl art style. Wow. His moveset looks actually pretty interesting. Coming soon. Wow, they didn't give us a whole lot, but it was pretty cool. No way, the Majora Moon. So Skull Kid's coming next. Oh, wow. Okay, they just hit it with you. You will meet a terrible fate. Spring 2023, full preview. All right, well, it uh, looks like PMEX Remix has a lot cooking up in the timeline, so uh, get ready for that one. Oh yeah, this is the same dude who made that crazy Waluigi trailer all those years ago. I remember this guy, King Bob. All right, next up, I wanted to show you guys some uh, cool art. It's not a mod, but uh, it is my show, so I can do whatever I want. I'm, I make the rules around here. Look at this art, soak it in, and like it. It's good. It's super nostalgia for me. Uh, Pokemon, Heart Gold, Soul Silver, one of my favorites. It's just so well done. I, dude, I love pixel art. Look at this. So good. Anyways, Celeste has been hard at work at that Gen 5 engine Gen 4 remake. So if you're wondering what's going on here, basically he's remaking uh, Gen 4 in the Gen 5 engine, and it's gonna be sick. Uh, look at how cool Route 209 looks. You got the Sakura Blossoms over here. If you remember Route 209, it's iconic. Looks really good. Here's just like a little preview of what he's been working on. So it's Gen 4, but Gen 5. And you even got Pokemon following you. 
So it's, this just looks awesome. This is gonna be a really cool mod when it comes out. All right, this one blew my mind. When I saw this, I couldn't believe it. Conan Kell is creating Sonic Adventure 1 on the 3DS. Like what? I mean, awesome, but like, what the heck? So basically this is like what he's got going on so far. Um, it looks actually like really serviceable. Like this looks absolutely incredible. I have no idea what it takes to put something that originally belonged on the Dreamcast on a weak console like 3DS. But uh, this, you know, this guy's making a dream reality and it looks so smooth, it looks natural. It looks like, you know, what, it looks like how it should. And I, I'm just beyond impressed. This is, this is really cool work. I cannot wait to see this finished. Just porting things to things where they don't belong is so funny. I, I've always enjoyed projects like this. While we're on the topic of Sonic Adventure, uh, Sonic Adventure fans are eating good this month because there's a lot of cool stuff coming out. Um, to be fair, I mean, this is about three months old at this point. Listen, man, you know, I, I took a little break. It's okay to have a little vacation now and then. Relax. Sora decided to put uh, Klonoa in Sonic Adventure. So basically it's like a whole like character mod and they have their own unique gameplay mechanics. No rings, you collect the crystals and like he's just like throwing stuff. This is really well made. And look, you can like play the level in a whole new way. See, the bro's just gliding out, enjoying Speed Highway in a whole new unique gameplay way. Like it looks amazing. So, I mean, this is incredibly high effort stuff. Absolutely love this. I gotta check this out. Sonic Adventure is like one of my favorite games of all time. Absolutely love Sonic Adventure. I kinda wish Twitter video has higher quality. It just looks like poo poo for real. Well, Sora wasn't done. He decided, you know, to double down a little bit on this uh, Sonic Adventure mods and he's adding like a whole like cosmetic system to Sonic Adventure 1. So if you ever wanted to be Sonic, put on some sick headphones, maybe a, you know, a cool hat. Tails is looking drippy as hell in the background. Look at your boy Tails, man. He looks so fresh right now. Yeah, he's adding fashion to Sonic Adventure. Um, if you ever wanted to put on some fresh shades, he's got you covered now. Like, we're chilling. Game of the year, baby. All right, this is for the Minecraft boys in the chat. If you're a Minecraft boy, press one in the chat. Just kidding, it's not It's not live, it's a, it's a video. This is an insane mod, so I, I need to tell you about this. This is a mod that lets you play Minecraft, single player, but multiplayer. So basically, if you ever wanted to play Minecraft with your friends on PC, someone had to buy a server or buy a realm, and it's like, bro, like, you gotta pay money every time you wanna play with your boys. Now you can just invite them to your world, like Bedrock Edition, like console. And it's absolutely incredible, and it works with mods. So check this out. Dude, the interface is so clean. You just literally invite your friends like it's bedrock and it just works. This is the future, man. I have no idea what kind of work went into this, but like I am just blown away. Like it, Minecraft will never be the same again. So tell your friends, tell your grandma, tell your dog about this mod. This is absolutely incredible, revolutionary. I mean, this was a year ago actually, so I'm kind of late to the party, but we'll just ignore that. So Ooh, okay, this is a really cool mod I've been wanting to talk about for a long time, and uh, I am just absolutely excited for this. Someone is recreating Ocarina of Time in the Wind Waker engine. In fact, I think I have brought this up before, but he's made some more progress on it, and I mean, just take a look at what we're looking at. He's created a whole like new enemy. It's got like the Deku's spitting the seeds, and this is the Wind Waker engine. He's crawling. The reflect works flawlessly. I cannot believe this. And this all started from an April Fool's joke. And now it's like actually legit. So yeah, it's just like a beta test. He's like obviously testing out the mechanics, making sure they're all working properly. But I am just loving how this is turning out. It looks so good. Next up, more pixel art. We, we like pixel art, right? Say yes. We love pixel art. Look at this. That looks so good. God, oh my gosh. Wow. So this was like their old art. I think I showed this on a previous episode and then they just decided, decided to double down, baby. Hard gold, soul silver, looking so fresh right here. My gosh, soak in that art. Incredible. This is kind of a funny video. I thought this was interesting. So if you know Ring Fit Adventure, it's like an exercise game. And basically like if you play it for too long, um, you get like this weird like health message. You gotta check this out. It's actually kind of crazy. Well, this is like a speedrunner thing. Like speedrunners encounter this. Severe health risk detected. Stop use immediately and follow the instructions. Heart failure check. This, this is like kind of sus. You are having a heart attack. Stay relaxed and continue breathing normally. Seek immediate medical aid. Do not resume physical activity. Bro, like that's just, that's just scary, bro. Like that would actually freak me out. Well, after like reading into it, um, 
it's it's fake someone edited it but it it looks so legit so i just thought i'd share it with you i thought that was kind of fun <laughs> just a heart failure thing nintendo would never do that they would they would never do anything like that if you like call of duty uh this one's for you basically so if you weren't aware you can play black ops 2 on your pc for free black ops 1 modern for 3 um and play multiplayer and zombies with your friends well, someone finally is deciding to do the plutonium treatment for Black Ops 3. So if you like Black Ops 3 custom zombies, I made a custom zombies video. Um, basically, now you're going to be able to play this online with your friends for free um, in the near future. This guy's working on it. He's got some performance uh, things he's been working on. So follow your boy Maurice, kind of a legend. I love zombies. I cannot wait to hop in and uh, not get hacked every 12 seconds because that's that's what happens to me when I play this game. So it's gonna be nice. All right, and then to top it all off for the grand finale, I, I got something real nice for you guys. You guys are gonna like this, I promise. I saved the best for last, don't even worry about it. It's a picture of Kirby enjoying some hot cocoa. So uh, yeah, hopefully you like that. Uh, Merry Christmas, everyone. Um, this was supposed to be recorded back in December. I got lazy, it's March, who cares? Enjoy the video. Let me know if you want more of this stuff. If you have anything you want me to see, please send it to me on Twitter. My Twitter is on the screen right now. Uh, just at me, bro. Like, if you see something cool on Twitter, just at me. You know, hopefully a new episode soon. Thanks for watching, boys. Peace.